Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome to Tropical 6. Once again we are back in our tropical paradise. Once again we are back with El Presidente who is just about to leave the palace. Well, of course the palace is not the only building that we have. We have a whole island at our disposal. And yeah, if you're not familiar with Tropical yet, then well, it's about time you learn about something about this beautiful beautiful city builder that we are playing here now. We're starting out in the colonial age, so quite early with only 20,000 money, some 50 sorry souls on this island and well, we need to build up a bustling city full of people. Yeah, revolutionists and pirates. Now, uh, what the game is all about is building up the city. Every single Tropican is simulated. All of them have their life, family, jobs, education, workplaces, living homes and stuff like that. Um, well, and we are starting out quite early. There is no superpowers yet. There is no um, bigger threat, only some pirates here and there. And well, of course, the threat of survival with uh, the sorry means that we have here. Let's have a look at our little city that we have so far or village that we're starting out with. We got a team star office, a construction office. We got, of course, very important, a chapel just over here so people can actually go and pray a bit. We got a plantation here for corn, so this is providing a bit of food right now that my people, of course, need some bunkhouses here where people can live. Um, and I think we have, yep, over here, one small tavern. I love these buildings. Righto, so there is, well, not that much going on here. She totally has the wrong skin for this environment, but well, bless her anyway. We got the docks over here, so the docks where we can export our goods and make some cash in the beginning, at least until we have tourists. Tourists are going to pay us quite fine. Until then, we have to build up a bustling industry, and bustling it's going to be, hopefully. Let's start out. We got a few options here. We got a big map. It's all ready for us for the taking, right? So lots of stuff that we can build. Nice building space. There's a nice little hill. So I think we're going to new, well use the landscape to our advantage in a bustling city. Um, let's just have a look around here where we could start building. It's actually not that easy because wherever we have industry, we also need to start with a few houses where people can live. Over here, we have some foresty area. So I would really like to start out in this area with our very first industries, right? And um, we're actually already losing money, right? Because streets, houses, everything basically costs me some infrastructure, a maintenance cost, and also we have a few people working already. Over here, for example, in the docks, we got some people um, in the palace, I got my palace guards. Um, of course, they all want wages, right? There's already a ship coming. I don't think we have anything in store. We have some corn in store right now that gives me some 3,000 credits, but that's really nothing. Let's get cracking with the first things. I would like to start out with a logging camp. In fact, I would like to start out with two logging camps, most likely. Um, I'm going to build them here in the forest. How could it be any different? Let's just have the street going all the way over there. Um, we can continue here a street along the beach area. I like this harbor area style. We're going to have a beautiful city all around here. Um, so the ship, whenever it comes into the city, has a nice panorama view. The logging camps, next up, the um, lumber mill, so we get into the industry. The logs that we produce in the in the logging camp are being then reprocessed or processed in the, in the lumber mill for planks. And planks we can export quite fine. Um, for that, I will probably use, let's just see, yeah, let's use these two spots here for two of these um, lumber mills to create our first planks. And as we can see, this is no cheap task, right? It's quite expensive. Now, the buildings are not going to be placed directly. Rather, there's a construction on the way. So let's just check real quick. There is my workers. They're coming out of the construction office now. And they're on their way now to the construction size. Only with a few cards, but they're still very quick, as we can see. Also, some immigrants are coming to town from the ship, some new tropicans. So this is one way of getting more people, either, of course, by squiggly pooping and making babies or by immigration from the Docklands. And they're going straight to the country house. Basically, they got this one. Let's have a look at our statistics. We got some eight homeless citizens right now and some 15 unemployed citizens. This is something we need to work on. Those things are now being built. Very good. I would like to continue right away. Over here, let's go for plantations. 
Now plantations are going to be very important because it had lots of processable goods that we can have with plantations basically. Now as we can see we got a few couple of uh, different crops here that we can choose and all of them have different fertility areas right. So for example tobacco um, is very good over here. Um, I think we have coffee then as well, it's also good over here, sugar, sugar is very good in this area, also over there, um, and bananas, yeah, bananas is good here, but there we have already the logging camps. Now, I do need some plantations in order to get my next industry up and running then, and of course to get some people working, because we have unemployed people right now. So let's start out with, I think we're going with, let's say sugar, yeah, sugar is looking good, tobacco we could also have. Let's have some tobacco just here. So this is actually a fine spot for our first plantations. Some tobacco that we can have. Let's have the next plantation right away that is going to be, yeah, going to be corn. So just over here, right up. Then I would like to have, let's see, sugar is pretty important. Let's have two sugar plantations next to each other right away. Right, because sugar with sugar we can then process them into some rum, and rum is something we definitely want. Let's also have a nice street connection. So this is basically where we're starting out our little farming empire. And we're down on money now, so there's nothing I can really do. I can only wait for all of these new industries to start up. So the um, logging camp is finished. There's only one worker right now. The second one is being built right now. A ah, nice view of the ocean, right? Definitely a nice working area. We also got the two lumber mills now working. Not fully working at the moment though. Oh, this one is. But of course, they need now locks to produce some planks out of that. And we also get our very first mission. Justify being me. Before independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. And the people have taken this to heart and constantly try to find new ways to sacrifice for the cause. They are very inventive. Please make a sacrifice, build a library. We do get some revolutionary immigrants with that, if we want to. Alright, both logging camps are now operational. There's workers here already. Monica, for example. Monica, and yeah, well, they are quite it's far nice away. To have oh! Choices, isn't it? A choice is like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. I'm certainly not someone for manual labor. Hmm, Lord Roger Windham. I'm sure you would like your situation to remain as it is, so please don't forget which side your bread and butter is, or your bread is buttered, and who gave you the butter. Now build a tannery. So this is actually quite a high demand. Do we have a time limit on that? We don't. But a tannery is really expensive. Plantations are also coming along. And the next ship is coming in, only corn. We're still only selling some corn, nothing else really. The first plantation here, tobacco, is also now intact. We get some seven immigrants with the latest freighter. That's good because we have the workplaces available, of course. And the logging camps are now fully staffed and thus starting, hopefully, fully producing some logs for us. And I just love that soundtrack in the background as well. As everything is starting up. I always love it when a new city is born and we just have so many ideas and so many opportunities. Now, there's still a problem here, as we can see. They haven't really produced... Ah, now production starts. Very good. The first logs are coming in from our logging camp. Also, the workers arrive now. And they're going ahead and chop some trees. Chop, 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 chop. Very diligent people indeed, Alessandro Bruno. We get some cash there once again, some more six immigrants. We are at 73 population now. And right now we have 100% support. So people do like us after all, at least for now. We still have, I guess, the benefit of doubt. Now what's going on with these plantation here? It's taking them forever to build. This one is in construction now. We don't have that many construction workers at the moment. 
Ah, very good. And after a bit of time, we have now all the plantations working here as this day is coming to an end. Beautiful, isn't it? Um, what we need to do here now? Well, we got now tobacco, sugar, corn, and sugar. So those two. I'm going to change the work mode here to multiculture. Now, in, in, in by default, it is they're working with the monoculture. They're losing efficiency over time, right? So 10%, I think, each year or e every two years until they go down to 40% or something like that. Um, changing to multiculture, we decrease the efficiency by 40% right away. So we are losing 40% of the efficiency from 100%. Um, but the plantation gets 10% efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with different crops running. So this is a very good thing because with that we can boost the multiculture, we can boost the efficiency by 30% right away. So we should be looking around somewhere, yes, very good, around 80, 70%, something like that. And we're going to add more plantations here over time in this area and thus further boosting the efficiency of that. Those plantations are working, not fully working, yes. This one is, this one is not. This one, some 12 more immigrants are coming in, perfect. They're filling in the jobs here now. That's exactly what we need. And off the freighter goes again. It's getting a bit busy here. We do have a tavern over there. The first service building that we have, the nun of course is joining as well <laughs> for a good drink. And in the tavern, well, as we can see, we get lots of guests right now. It's almost at full capacity. I could just watch this every day as people are going to the tavern there. Um, and of course with the tavern, we do get some money in already. So income right now, last month, for example, we made some 50 coin, some $50 with this tavern here because we had enough visitors to pay the fees for the staff and stuff like that. Something does not feel quite right, Governor. We have a powerful All right, Penultimo, you. hello and welcome. Death. That sounds good. And while it is only fair that Crown receives all of our exports, we are still a colony after all. Perhaps it would make a change if we weren't governed with an iron fist. I can't help but notice that the will of the people is leaning in, shall we say, a more independent direction. Yes, this is our very first major goal to it, well, go through the um, era, right? So, oh, sorry, we just finished a side quest there. Um, the, the very, very first thing that we need to do is we need to advance to the, I think, the World War eras. Um, we're still in the colony. Oh, and look at that. We already have the first catastrophe. A new extraordinary resistant strain of mildew has swept across tropical, infecting our crops and devastating production. All crop conditions are decreased by 40%. Alright, so they're basically not working right now. 30% <laughs> only. This is harsh. Very harsh indeed. Um, I hope now, yeah, very good. So at least my lumber mills are working now, so they have it. Logs are in, planks are being produced. Right, and being transported to the docks where we make some cash here right now. Um, what we also need to bear in mind here is that we have the Teamster office over here. The Teamsters is basically the transporters of my city, right? So they're needed, as we can see, there they are. And they're transporting goods from one place to another place. From the logging cap to the lumber mill, and from the lumber mill, the planks then to the docks. So we need to be careful. Um, we probably will need to build another Teamster office rather soon. There's the next chip coming in. 9,000 credits we make this time, or dollars. So that's a good thing here. And hopefully some more people joining Tropical. And there we have it, some 10,000. Very good, and eight new immigrants joining now. There should be coming out now. Hello, and welcome to my little paradise. Welcome, and now go pick some crops whatever they're going right to the bunk house very good so they found some home here after all let's just check here real quick what we need to do so have an average of revolutionary approval of 60 and have average percentage of population supporting revolutionaries of 60 and we are at 50 out of 60 in that so we need to fulfill that um and then we can advance to the next era however we have a time limit so we have a mandate right now and that mandate goes for another three years and eight months if that's running out the game is over Right, so we need to achieve this mission here before the time runs out. And how can we do that? By doing those side missions here. This one here, for example, is extending our mandate time by 18 months. And this one here is giving us 10 revolutionary immigrants. That's something we definitely want to achieve. Um, and we need to be in time, right? For the tannery, let's continue and build up our next industry. 
over here we have a bit of space and I would like to build up a second industry. It's very, very well advised to build industry in several uh, spots, right? Not everything in one spot, but in several spots to spread the industry areas out a bit. Why? Basically because we have workers living in close to the industry area um, and the further they are away from the city and well, they would be further away if I would um, spend all the industry here, the further away they would also live. And I want to have a central city where everything is working and I want to have, well, more or less several spots where people can go to. And in the middle, we're going to have some houses then popping up. Now over here, I think we have a good location for the ranch and the ranch has cattle and the cattle produces hides. There we have a nice fertility area for cattle, as we can see. So I'm probably, probably going to build some ranches over there in this area. Like so, right, so two ranches. Let's build a road over there. And with the ranches comes the heights, and with the heights we can have the tannery, and the tannery is then producing leather out of the heights. Cost me 6,000 though, so we wait a bit for that. Very good, and after a short period of time, both ranches are now working for us. There we have them. M meat and hides are being produced. It is also allowed for local consumption right now, so that means um, as long as we need some meat, for example, and some hides, um, they're going to be transported to those locations, and if we have too much of them, they're going to be exported. If I uncheck this one, well, we export the goods right away. I also would like to have something for the local um, consumption. Now, no, 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 no. Let's just also check something else. Once again, my lumber mill. It's still not really working, it seems, right? So both of them are not fully working right now. I might need another one logging camp. Let's build another logging camp for this one. A bit further away, perhaps over there. Very good. We are exporting right now. Huh, not that much. So I still would lead, need to wait there a bit. And as we can see, the workers, well, they have to commute over there. So for now, it's a bit further away um, and we're definitely wasting some time here. But once I advance to the next era, I can then have some public transport and get them over there. But for now, we're living with it. The blight has ended. So that means now the plantations are working again with their full capacity. Very important. So that we get some products up and running here. So right now, we're probably, yeah, Exp uh, well, exporting all of that. And by the way, we also have the corn plantation here. That means I can get rid of this corn plantation here, which is rather in the way, I think. So let's demolish that one, right? We don't need uh, two corn plantations. And boom, I have a lot of space now in the city itself where I can build something. Now, the ranches are now fully working, as we can see. Lots of hides and meat is being produced here. The transporters are getting those goods to the docklands. Um, and what we can do now is, well, we can now build the tannery. 6,000, we can afford that. It's a another very important industry that we have. Let's just have this one hmm, close by, of course, somewhere over here, right? So another smaller um, industry. Let's also make some road system there still. So let's continue over there. And here we can then have those, hmm, I would like to have more ranches here, most likely. Right, and the tannery comes in here. Very good. There we got it. Very expensive building. Very expensive. We still have two years with the mandate, so the tannery I'm building now, very important. And the library is another thing that I need to build. With the library, we are also need opening up then the researching. Put that for later. Ah, very good. Now both of them have locks in store and produce the planks for us. Right, because now we have enough logging camps in this. And what I can see is that we have too many logs and too many planks storing up here. So there's some 2,000 here, some 3,000 here. Oh, quest is also completed. Build the tannery. Finding good help is so difficult. And between you and me, your little eccentricities make being here a little more bearable. Um, 18 more months that we get on top of everything. Perfect. Now with that, um, let's continue with a bit of expansion. I would like to have also some fish, so the fishermen we can build. This is pretty important for my local consumption and also for export. Um, over there we have a nice location for that and we have a fishing spot. So let's just have us a nice fishing area here as well. And what I also need is now another Teamster office, right? So transporters, cost me another 2000. Let's just have them here in this area and they're going to provide then some transporters for all of that what we need. 
and speeding up also the transportation of the planks, for example. Because I think my current teamsters, yeah, well, they're a bit overworked. Oh, we got lots of stuff to be being exported here. Some sugar, meat, hides. 6,500 credits we get out of that, but we're still pretty low on the money side. And hopefully also some immigrants. Tannery has been built as well. There we have it. Working already. Um, it's just waiting for some heights now. We have heights. We don't have enough um, transporters right now. So the Teamster office is going to be high priority. Let's put it there. Also, the Fisherman Wharf has been built. Very good. No people work here yet. And they're working the forefather style work mode. So this is every fisher produces 1.7 units of fish for every one unit taken from the fishing grounds. We can unlock further m work modes down the road with researching. Teamster office. <laughs> Still way too many planks. Perfect. Another Teamster office is ready for action. There is a freighter coming in, so that should hopefully provide us some workforce there um, that we can then use right away. There we have it. Perfect. And seven people coming in. This should speed it's it up nice now. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. That's certainly not up my tea. So fulfill an export trade route with the crown. Um, we need to fulfill this in 150 days and we do get another mandate extension. Definitely worth doing. So let's just have a quick look at trade. There we have some trade contracts that we can now fulfill. Lots of export here and there is an import. Um, exporting, let's just see what we could export. Tobacco. We have tobacco plantation. I would like to do that. We can also decide on the volume. 725 should be fine for now because I want to finish this one quickly, right? The volume difference is not that big, but with only 5% above standard um, price. So that is something. Let's export some tobacco to the crown. Um, tobacco is what we produce ooh, over here. There it is in a very good fashion. We have way too much here stored as well. So what we can really see is my Teamster offices are overloaded. So I'm hoping that with the second one is working. We can also do something else change the work mode to lose load limit and increases the capacity of teamsters by 50%. Each teamster might lose up to 10% of its freight. That's fine though, because we still get a whopping 40% increase more or less um, in what they can transport. And I'm also increasing their budget um, for all of them by 10%. So we do get a 10% efficiency bonus there as well. Actually, let's put it up there to the highest level. We pay like, yeah, double, but we also get an efficiency increase. The same goes with this one here. Right, so this would hopefully provide some better transportation. We are totally capped there in many locations right now. Also, the tannery here that is working now has all the heights, so the ladder we can now produce. And the ladder is pretty worth it, to be honest, um, for exporting then. Just needs those goods, right? We just need those goods. There's some sugar being transported right now. To the docks, everything for the export. Also, the crown sent some foreign aid once again because we're pretty low on money from time to time. They do that, but not forever, of course. And another thing is, well, I guess at this point we have a few homeless citizens. Yes, 14. We also got the first shacks appearing. So this is when we don't have enough housing um, close to living quarters and people just live in those shacks. Then, of course, it's not a beautiful site. It's also reducing the appeal rating of the area. So let's go ahead and build our very first houses, bunk houses. It's going to be low quality residential building for six households. And here, just close to the plantations, let's build... Yeah, one and let's also have another one here close to those industries there and probably also close to those industries we should have some more bunk houses so i'm going to add another one here so these are my next constructions that we need to fulfill this of course is also going to increase then approval rating right now we only have 36 over happiness not something i should keep up for too long The next freighter is coming in. We got some tobacco here in Thor already. Some sugar, some planks. Very good. 15,000 is the expected revenue out of this one. So we finally make some cash out of it. Of course, now for the first time we get a lot of planks in, right? So now my Teamster offices are working as they should. Tobacco has been fulfilled. I must say I'm glad to be still working with you. 
Finding good help is so difficult. Very good. Extend mandate rate, uh, mandate time by 18 months once again. And some 19,005 immigrants we made out of this trade. There they're coming out already. Hola. The new Tropicans. Hello and welcome <laughs> to my paradise. Paradise to be, I should say. Lumber mills fully working. Very good. There's no more shortage over there. The next bunk houses are finished and right away people are living there. This bunk house still needs to be built. ASAP, please. Yeah, let's just make it quick build. So we always have the option of quick building a house. Um, that cost me something in addition, but we finish it instantly, right? And that's probably important. And with the bank houses here, hopefully those shacks are a thing of the past. There's no one living in there in them now. So that's the farmers and off they go. Perfect. Should make people a bit happier as well. We haven't exported any leather yet, right? Not only meat we have there at the moment, lots of planks. That's because all the planks that have been storing up here now being transported finally, right? Um, that's why we make for a short amount of time some real big cash here because all the planks are flooding in now um that's of course going to get reduced again now we have a bit of money i should suggest we go with the next building then which is the library so this is the demand that we have there um for that i will have to go over here public services government nope it's not there Education, library, 3,600 it cost me. It's a beautiful building, by the way, that we can have then here in the in the center of my little my little town. Probably just going to have it here um, behind the chapel, looking towards the palace. Let's also have a road going there. And of course, we're not savages. A little park here goes a long way, so we might also beautify the area. As we can see, there's a low appeal rating here in the center right now and we could just add some parks there to the area where people can enjoy their day. The next fighter, oh, lots of cash once again. It's nice to have choices. And we get it? once again the, the fulfill the trade route. We are going to do this. We are going to build the library and then we continue here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 